we are learning to understand that changing the order of the addends when adding doesn't change the sum. Lesson 4, 7. Okay? Let's count how many circles we have here. How many blue circles there are? 1, 2, 3. How many purple circles we have? We have 1, 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. And you can check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Now, if I were to take the 2 and place it first, add 3 more, what would be the sum? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sum will be 5. So, my question is, did the sum change when we change the order of the addends? Did the sum change? The sum is 5. It stayed the same. So, did the sum change? No, it did not change. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yellow ducks. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 yellow ducks. And if we were to count all of them, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I have 10 ducks. Now if I were to change the order of the addends, so if I said 4 plus 6 yellow ducks, how much is that equal to? Well, if you said 10, you are correct. So, did the sum change? The sum means the total amount. Did the sum change when we changed the order of the addends? The answer is no. It stayed the same. <clears throat> Let's try it with some numbers here. I have 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4, I know, is equal to 6. Now, let's change the place of the addends. Here's 4 plus 2. What is 4 plus 2? 4 plus 2 is 6. So did the sum change when we change the order of the addends? Again, the answer is no. It stayed the same. Here we have 7 plus 5. If you're not sure how to do it, you can draw sticks or you can use a count-up method. I'm going to put the 7 in my brain and I'm going to count up 5. So 7. Let us draw 5 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 7 in my brain, I'm going to count up 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my answer is 12. I'm going to change the order of the addends and I'm going to say 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. Did the sum change? No, it didn't. It stayed the same. Even though I changed the addends, the sum stayed the same. Okay. We're going to do our activity book, page 131 and 132. Let's do question number one. What is the sum? So 5 plus 3 is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. Question two. 1 plus 9 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. Question three. 6 plus 7 is 13. And 7 plus 6 is 13. Question four. 2 plus 4 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Question 5. Which has the same sum as 3 plus 6? So we need to change the addend. We need to swap it. So 2 plus 6, no. 4 plus 3, no. 6 plus 3, yes. We swap the addend. So 6 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 6. What is another way to add 1 plus 8? We can do 1 plus 8. So 8 plus 1 or 1 plus 8 is the same. Number 7. Eric has 6 sports video games and 4 action video games. How many sports and action games does he have? Write numbers to show two ways to add. So the first one says 6. Second number is 4. So 6 plus 4 is 10. I'm going to show another way to write this by swapping the addend. So I can say 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Question number 8. Why does 5 plus 2 have the same sum as 2 plus 5? Draw to show your thinking. So here's 2 plus 5 more. It's equal to 7. I'm going to swap the 5. I'm going to add 2 more. It's equal to 7. The reason why it is the same is because you're not changing the numbers. You're changing the place of the addend, which does not affect the sum. Okay? 
I hope you understood that. Let's go to our practice book. So this is student practice book, page 39 and 40. This is your homework, okay? If you've already done it, you can continue on to check your work. So question number one, it says, what is the sum? Number one, eight plus one is nine. One plus eight is nine. Question two, five plus seven is 12. Seven in my brain, count up. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 and seven plus five is 12. Question three, four plus six is 10. Six plus four is 10. Number four, nine plus eight is 17. Eight plus nine is 17. Question five, which has the same sum as seven plus two? Two plus six, no. Three plus seven, no. Two plus seven, yes. Question number six, which has the same sum as three plus nine? So three plus nine, the same sum will be B, nine plus three. What is another way to add six plus seven that has the same sum? Write the number. So we're gonna swap these add-ins around. So instead of saying six, we're gonna say seven plus six equals 13. One fish tank has seven fish. So we write the seven. Another fish tank has eight fish. How many fish are in the tank? So seven plus eight is 15. Write the numbers in two different ways. So now I'm gonna swap the add-ins. So I'm gonna say eight plus seven is equal to 15. Mr. Thompson reads uh, to his class for nine minutes in the morning. In the afternoon, he reads his, to his class for five minutes. How long did he read? Write numbers to show two ways to add. So nine plus five is 14. Five plus nine is equal to 14. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of your lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.